Well, we just need more consistency. We got to be more focused at the beginning of the game. I don't really think we were uptight, maybe too relaxed at the beginning of the basketball game. But I thought Liberty came out really hot. They were impressive. They shot the ball extremely well. Um, I, I know one of the coaches told me on one occasion, I think they were shooting 70 to our 16%. And, but I do think that the middle, middle run was good. And I also think that we had some kids who stepped up and showed some maturity today and gave some of our starters a little lesson about waiting to get their opportunity. And I thought some of our kids really came off the bench and played extremely well for us today. I thought uh, Amanda, Amanda Kofer did a great job for us off the bench. Um, Silky, Casey Elliott uh, played a lot of minutes out there and was really very comfortable against their pressure and ran the show and showed great signs of her leadership out on the floor. And, you know, and there were others, Jessica Pollen in the first half, uh, Summer came in, Beads, Heather Beadle. I mean, there were, there were others, but, you know, it, it, it's just that first 10 minutes, that last 10 minutes, we lacked the consistency that we had somewhere in the middle. And I also think that as a team, when you play against a team like Liberty, you can't have those lapses and that spottiness about you and expect to be victorious at the end of a game because they're too good for that. And um, we, you know, it, it, it's, it can't be a game of spurts. You know, we've got to have that consistency. And, and that's what we're really working on with this team, growing some of them up and making them understand that you know, we have to have consistency in order to be successful the way that we want to be. And we certainly, we didn't have it. Yeah, we, you know, we said we could just cut it under 10 by halftime. And, um, you know, we were, and, and then I thought we went on a really good run at the beginning of the second half. There's a lot of fight in these kids. Um, but we've got to be hungry as we approach the beginning of a game. And we can't wait till we have a huge deficit against a good team like this. You know, then by the time you get down, um, it takes a lot out of you. And then you fight your way back, as we did today, and cut it to one. And then, you know, it was just like at that point we hit a wall. And the deficit was just so big, we didn't overcome it well in our last 10 minutes. We did nice things. We got the ball where we wanted it to go. But it was the same old story where we didn't finish, you know, at the end. We just were not finishing well. And I think someone's trying to tell us some things. And I've challenged our team about those. And I'm sure they're going to step up and rise to the occasion. Well, obviously, you know, our offensive production has got to improve. Uh, we've got to finish chippies. You know, you work hard, you design plays, and you run these offenses to get the ball where you want it to go. When you do, you got to stick it in the bucket. And that's big. And, you know, certainly they're big. But, hey, it is what it is. We've got to take the ball to them, even if they are big. And I thought when we made a run, we did. And we either hit the chippy or we went to the free throw line on a lot of occasions because we were attacking the rack. That's an area we've got to grow in. We've got to get more confident in it. And you do that by working on those things. You know, it's like when you take a test. If you go in there to take that math test and you don't study, don't expect to do well. If you go into that basketball game and you're not shooting well, you got to do something about that to make that uh, be an area of improvement. That is, I think, one of our biggest areas of, uh, that we need to improve in right now, that shooting consistency, and it will come. I mean, I'm, I'm confident that it will come.